Hello kids, I am Ganeshka, your science teacher. Today we discuss our first chapter, living and non-living things. So, here is some warm-up questions that is complete the name of the things given below. That first picture is tree and the second one is sun. Look at the third picture that is a cat. Come to the next that is a table. Next one is bird. And the next last is bottle. Now we read our chapter. We see many things around us. Plants, animals, human beings, rocks, etc. Such things can be divided into two groups. Living and non-living. Living things are different from non-living things. Let us know about characteristic of living things. Characteristic of non-living things, natural things and man-made things. Characteristic of living things. Living things can breathe, move, feel, eat food, drink water and can grow. Living things also have young ones. As you can see in the pictures, living things eat food and living things grow. And living things can move from one place to another place. Living things breathe. Living things have young ones. Living things feed. Plants are also living things. A small plant grows from a seed to become a big plant. A small plant grows from a seed to become a big plant. Look at the pictures seed, seedling and adult plant. Do you know? Dog lives for 10 to 12 years and then die. Characteristic of non-living things. Non-living things cannot eat, breathe or feel. They cannot move or grow. They do not have any young ones. A chair, pen, paper, book, etc. are non-living things. Non-living things are divided into two groups. First one is natural things and the second is man-made things. Now first we read about natural things. Natural things are not created by a man. These are found in nature. Such things are the sun, moon, stars, mountains, clouds, etc. Now we read about man-made things. As you can see in the pictures, there is cloud and mountains, stars and moon, the sun, water and the stones. Now, we read about the man-made things. No living things such as bottle, book, pen, paper, toys, cloths, etc. are made by men. Therefore, these are known as man-made things. Now look at your pictures. There is cloths, bottles, toy trays. Now we have check and mate. There is a part write T for true and F for false statement. Now we read our first statement. First is non-living things can have young ones. Is it true or false students? It will be false. Now come to the second one that is living things can move from one place to another place. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Now come to the third one mountains, moon and stars are living things. Is it true? No, it is false. Now come to the fourth one toys, pen, paper, baskets are man-made things. Yes. It is true. Now students come to a B part. There is an answer the following questions. Your first question is give two examples of living things. As we read we can write the answer. Write down the answer in your notebook. That is human being, bird, tree. There are so many examples of living things. Come to a second question. Give two examples of non-living thing. So, you can write pen, paper. These are the non-living thing. Question number three is give two examples of man-made thing. 
write down the name that you can write table and chair question number 4 give two examples of natural things you have to write the name of natural things so you can write moon stars get it students now we have to discuss our activity in our activity write l for living n for non living m for man made and n t for natural things in the given picture look at the picture students and identify the things can you identify okay like there is a ball ball is a man made thing okay and there is a sun so that is a natural thing also there is a girl and a boy they are living things so you have to write l there get it students now let's wrap up what we have to study in this chapter now let's wrap up what we have studied in the chapter in a nutshell plants animals and human beings are living things living things feel and eat food living things move grow and breathe Living things have their young ones. Non-living things are natural or man-made. Natural things are not made by man. Got it, students? Now we are read our keywords. Okay, our first keyword is living thing. That means things that have life. Our second keyword is non-living. things that do not have life our third one is natural things the things found in nature but not made by a man last one is man made things that are made by a man get it thank you students we will meet in the next class